is up YouTube welcome back to the vlog if you're new here I'm Kaylin welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel today we're hitting glutes and a little bit of hams I've got some propel electrolyte energy and I'm on my last working set of my first compound movement we're doing cas bridges honestly and I know my gym girls feel this once cas bridges are out of the way I can start to enjoy my workout and like normally I won't say like do a workout that you don't like to do but these are just so effective they're one of the best glute exercises and it's just good to start with it start with the hard stuff that maybe that you don't love doing so much get that out of the way and then we can get on to more of the fun stuff i got on my slides today i almost actually i rarely ever work out without my closed toed shoes on but the shoes that i were wearing were hurting my feet oh see i couldn't take it anymore so i swapped it out don't hate me for improper footwear but I can't, I can't do. I did this weight last week. I can't remember how many I did it for, but I'm gonna try for eight, possibly. I had a Celsius, like an hour and a half leading up to my workout. I've been really obsessed with Celsius lately, which is not good. I've never been too crazy on the energy drinks, but I've had two Celsius a week these past two weeks, which is kind of crazy. But it's doing its job because I was super tired before, but I'm ready to work out. So let's do this. That was nine, that was good, I'm moving on. Okay, so next we have RDLs. I had this little step right here because it low-key is just a little bit not enough ROM for me. Recently, I haven't been loving no, that's not true. I've been loving my training recently because it's just been like um, focusing on glutes more, more on like they obviously. It's making me happier to train, but overall in general, it's kind of been hard for me to go up and work out. And that's never really been like an issue for me. I've always wanted to train and I still do train even when I don't want to. Like aka right now, I have a headache, but I don't know. If you're watching this, you know, sometimes you just got to do stuff when you don't even feel like doing it, when you'd rather do anything else. But I knew that if I went home, I'd feel like, a bad workout is still a luxury. A bad workout is still better than no workout, at least in my philosophy of the grind. Let's do these barbell RDLs. I got 55 on each side. I don't know what the starting resistance or starting weight is, but yeah. Also, I've been loving my training recently because I've been going really, really heavy. Not really heavy, but I've been pushing weight like more, which is good. What's not good is I don't even know if I'm cutting or bulking right now. I haven't tracked my macros or weighed myself in so long. So I think that's going to be my focus coming up soon. But let's do this set. I'm going to go a wider stance than I normally do. Normally, I would do like a bit of a narrow stance, but I kind of just want to do a wider stance. Try it out. So I did 11. I'm gonna go up 10 pounds each side. Actually, f it. <laughs> let's do 25 each side. The wider stance felt good as well. So we'll keep it there. Let's try it. I'm only powered by a honey stinger, my Celsius, and a halo that I had like two hours ago. And I'm wondering why I have a headache when I'm about to hit this fire leg day but sometimes when you're not fueled as ironic as it seems it's like some of your best workouts so only our second exercise in so we'll see if it's good or not but let's do this <laughs>
adjust our stars a little. So next we're doing step ups. I'm trying out this machine. This is the Atlantis step up machine. I just tried it out for my first working set. If your gym doesn't have this machine, you can do them with a Smith machine, with a regular bench, on the cables with a bench. Like it really depends. One thing I love about the gym that I go to is that they're always changing out their equipment. They're always adding new stuff. And that is so, I'm so blessed and blessed to be able to go to this gym. It really is a great gym. Even like this basic machine, you wouldn't even think it would be a machine, but it is. And it's just like, oh, wow, I get to try it out. So let's do it. We got a 35. Make sure that's stable. I would be very scared for this machine to fail, to be honest. And grip here. Slow and controlled down, barely touch. Oh. Okay. That side was not so good. I felt like I felt that all up in my back. Let's try again. Okay, next up we have some hamstring curls. We're gonna do lying. I did lying maybe like two weeks ago for the first time in months. I did two plates, I think for maybe like five or six. I just remember that I didn't like that set, so I'm gonna redeem myself here. Normally I'm just a seated hamstring or a standing hamstring girly. It really just depends. I don't really isolate my hamstrings the way I isolate my glutes and calves. I mean my glutes and my quads. I do need to be hitting more calves to be honest wellness bodybuilding girlies they hit legs four times a week and they isolate each to be honest if i would ever compete i would need more overall leg development and i think especially in my hamstrings and glutes so yeah maybe, maybe i will add a hamstring day in my split one day but to be honest i just hit it when i do glutes and hamstrings and then it also gets inadvertently hit with other exercises as well so to be honest, my legs just need to grow. So we're gonna do lying and see how this goes. too bad i feel like i had some trouble finding my tension another set i did partials which is great if you're struggling with like plateauing struggling to get past the weight do partials which is basically just like half reps or partial reps at the end of your working set just basically squeezing out as much raw as possible until you literally can't anymore go up like five pounds and do this correctly keeping constant tension while I'm going down and we'll have a better set for this next one. So let's do that. I did the best working set for my second set and I forgot to record. So now my third set has to be even better, but we did just go to failure. So let's do that one more time.
I just tried to do more, but obviously I could not. Let's move on. Next we have good old fashioned kickbacks. Y'all already know the deal with these. Take your isolation movements seriously, especially for aesthetic purposes. I'm really trying to grab that shelf, you know? Like I really want more upper glutes. I could be hitting glute medius kickbacks more. I could be doing better cas bridges and I could also be doing maybe glute bias hyperextensions. I feel like I should do that more often. Am I being very critical of myself? No. Am I? I mean, you could always be doing more, right? You could always be bigger. You could always be more muscular. You could always be better. So. But at the same time, I'm not a self-improvement project and I'm very happy with my physique, but such is life. Let's do these kickbacks. I feel like two weeks ago, I was never a take off my shoes type of girly. And now I'm my past few videos. I've been all in socks. I don't know who I am anymore. I know I'm that bitch, though. With these ones, I have to touch my glute for that mind-muscle connection. It just makes sense that way. that is the end of the workout i actually just did some ab work i did some cable ab crunches which the first time i ever tried to do that went not so well i could not figure out for the life of me how to get the form down but i just tried it again and they felt really good my abs are really already sore i'm gonna do more weighted ab exercises just to train my abs a little bit harder my core a little bit harder but that was a really great workout Nia, thanks for hitting legs with me glutes and hammy day thanks so much for being here thanks so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next vlog bye